Hello guys. Uh, to become a better writer or speaker you need to practice writing and speaking. So what we're gonna be discussing today is lots of different sentence types, how to write in an interesting way and how to make sure you are not just saying I did this and then I did that and then I did this then I did that. Of course we all do it when we speak very quickly. It's partly why I recommend that you speak slowly because I think people speak more intelligently when they speak more slowly. Uh, the first thing to think about is that when you have got noun you can use one adjective but it's very common in English to use more than one adjective so here we have two adjectives he instead of saying he is a handsome man you could also use another adjective to be more descriptive and say he is a handsome young man second the main clause fun boys a main clause so these are coordinating conjunctions and the function is that they connect between uh, two sentences she is fit for she exercises regularly so here for has the meaning of because she is fit because she exercises regularly but for is very formal and if you want to use one of these coordinating conjunctions make sure that you put a comma before them I find it also very interesting to use three adjectives and then a main clause as in this example scared lonely anxious he came in and because we have a list of adjectives and they are interchangeable you do need to put a comma between them and then you go to the to the clause we could also use a pair of adverbs as in here cautiously and carefully he walked over to me so these are the adverbs cautiously and carefully so we could uh, change this one because they have the same meaning cautiously and carefully we could use for example slowly slowly cautiously and slowly he walked over to me you could also put this in the middle he comma cautiously and slowly walked over to me or we could put it at the end he walked over to me cautiously and slowly without a comma so always be aware think in your mind where it sounds best is it in the middle at the start or at the end uh, to make also your uh, style of writing and the way of speaking uh, very noticeable you could use three negative nouns and an interrogative sentence love money betrayal which of these was his true motive? Or for example, um, pain, sorrow, guilt. Which of these would he feel first? So this list of ways that we have seen can really help you to make a dramatic improvement to the quality of your speech and writing. So thank you for watching and see you all soon.